Hi, this is Mike with Desktop Supplies, and today we're going to show you how to print on non standard size cardstock. The cardstock could be 4x6 or 5x7, or in today's case, we're doing a 5x7 greeting card. Um, the 5x7 greeting cards actually come flat and measure 7 inches by 10, so we're going to have to uh, set up our document for that size. So let's open up our program. Today we're going to be using Microsoft Word 2003. Now obviously you can use any Adobe product or print shop product you may have um, to do this. So to start off with, our document is measures 8.5 by 11 inches, so we're going to change that. So let's go to File, and to Page Setup. And first let's take off these margins. We want those to all be zero. That way our, our card will go directly to the border rather than having you know a white space around it. Uh, let's also change the paper size from letter to the 7x10 size. Now, 7x10 isn't automatically programmed in here, so you're going to have to click 7x10. And um, as this would be whatever size card you have, whether it be a 4x6, 5x7, um, you would enter it in here. Uh, ours automatically changed the B5 size, but that's don't worry about that. Just always change it to the exact size that you uh, have to print on, just in case. So click OK, and you'll see our, our paper is adjusted here to the 7 by 10 size. So now let's go ahead, we'll just insert a, um, an image for our card. So we're going to insert picture from file, and we'll just take our sunset picture here. Now, as you can see, this picture measures pretty close to what we need. It doesn't me measure exactly 5 by 7, but it is actually a little bit over 5 by 7 which is okay because we actually do want the card uh, the image to bleed onto the back of the card so that when you're looking at it from the front side of the card you'll see the entire picture with no no white space so moving on now normally you might assume that I would be moving this image down to the bottom of the page but today we're gonna actually just flip it upside down it's a lot easier and Microsoft Word when you move it down to the bottom likes to leave a white space or push it to the next page so this will save you a lot of aggravation so just right click on your picture click the show picture toolbar and then in here there's a rotate left 90 degrees button so just click that twice and now our card is upside down which is good this is how we want it to print out so now whether you're using Microsoft Word or Adobe or Print Shop, any one of these programs, you're going to have to set up your printer to accept the 7x10 size. So we're going to go to File, into Print, and today we're going to use uh, an HP PhotoSmart uh, series printer. Um, this is an inkjet printer with the borderless card capabilities. Um, if we're going to print on, like, say, our HP LaserJet 1020, which is a black and white um, monochrome printer, this would leave about an eighth of an inch border, white border around our picture, which obviously we don't want. So, and of course it's black and white, so we want a color picture. So, we're going HP PhotoSmart. Now we have to go into the printer properties to set this up. So, click properties, and in here you'll see all the paper size and everything like that. Um, obviously, the seven by ten size is not in there. So, we're going to click on features and obviously your printer may have different options here but whatever you have to find um, you have to find something that says size and where you can change the, the size from letter to something else so in our case you can see that we don't have it here even if you click more you know it's not on here right now so we're going to have to add it in <clears throat> so let's go click on this and click custom a lot of printers have the same thing custom or add size so we click that and we got a little box that pops up here. Um, this, the custom paper size you have just defined will not become available for selection until you have exited and re-entered the printing preferences slash properties. So basically what that's telling us is after we enter this in, we won't be able to select it until we cancel out of this. So it, some printers have this little quirky feature, others it will automatically change it, but in our case we're going to have to just uh, re-enter. But anyway, so let's name it. We'll name it 7 by 10. Um, it's going to be a borderless paper, and you may or may not have that option. Um, if you do, check it. If you don't, then just don't worry about that. Um, change the width to 7. Change your height to 10. Keep it in inches. 
and uh, let's click save to save it permanently to our printer and then we'll click OK. Now as you can see it reset the letter and it, it's not in here so we gotta let's click OK and let's go back into our properties. Now we go in here and we click more scroll down to the bottom and you will see the 7x10. This is the one we just created. This is an older one that I had made. So let's click on the new one, 7x10. Click OK. And borderless is automatically checked. Print at actual size. Perfect. So let's go ahead and click OK. And now you're all set to print. For more information and other videos, visit our website at desktopsupplies.com. Once again, I'm Mike Smith, and thanks for watching.